Javier. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing up a painful memory for me. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, and it was, it was weird because they did. They broke into where I work, and it happened to be an auto shop. Who Aww. breaks into an auto shop? You know, I mean, they took a lot of stuff, and it was dark. And but the main thing they took that really upset me, you know, was my cookies. <laughs> <laughs> really, they took they took who takes cookies? There was thousand dollar equipment there, and they took that plus the cookies. You know, everything else was insured, not the cookies. I really <laughs> the cookies. You know? But it's like, why would they? They had to do it at night, though. They really because no one robs an auto shop during the day. <laughs> what kind of idiot's gonna rob an auto shop during the day? Because it's like I don't know if you know the clientele, the people that work at auto shops, but uh, uh, they're not angels. <laughs> you know that? You know, be like, hey, stick it up! I want all the money. <laughs> Is that you? I can't believe you ran away. How's it going, man? We were gonna rob you, but now we're not anymore. We're good. I need some vodka, man. <laughs> all right, we shared some peanut butter. You're good. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna change the tone a little bit because that was really depressing. I like those cookies. Uh, uh, my, my, my wife and I are now registered foster parents. Woo! Woo! Uh, let down because uh, uh, you know when you decide you want to be foster parents, but she don't want to have kids anymore with me. Oh. It's upsetting that oh. she's not willing to give me 30 seconds of her day to make new kids. But <laughs> but uh, but we are registered foster parents now, and uh, it's because our kids. They're good kids, but they can be smart okay, a lot of times. My youngest daughter, she says things now like, Daddy, do you know an onion is the only thing that makes you cry? So I threw a potato at her face. And, uh, <laughs> just saying parents got to be right. Parents got to be right all the time. <laughs> seriously, though, our kids are getting older. They're doing their own things. They don't have cars now. They're going out a lot. They don't spend much time at home. And frankly, none of them lived up to any of our expectations at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought we'd start over again, get a new batch of kids, you know, and I did my research, you know, I did a lot of it, you know. I watched Blindside. <laughs> oh, nice. I've seen I've seen the draft days when those like white parents and a black kid. I've done my research because that's what I want. I want an abandoned kid from a star athlete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get paid here. I'm trying to make money off of this. Nothing's good without money. Oh, <laughs> you know, my wife, she's reading all these books and how to raise a troubled child and I'm reading books on how to do football drills and, you know, <laughs> and I'm researching this guys, I really am. I'm looking forward to this, you know. Or really, she is. She's reading, she checked out a book about, you know, raising an adopted child. What are you reading over there? How to dribble through a full court press. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for all this, man. I mean, you guys don't think it happens? It doesn't happen. You guys ever heard of Colin Kaepernick? Ah. Ah, see, ah. It, it happens a lot. It, it, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't insult him, but any adopted kids here went through the foster system? Woo! Oh, yeah, I'm happy for you. Very, very happy for you. You did all that without advertising. <laughs> oh, oh, it's my fault. There's no advertising for adopting kids. You come home at two in the morning. There's no commercials on for that. You see dogs in cages. Oh, the eyes of an angel. Little Teddy's not in that cage. <laughs> There's no help for him. <laughs> you can sponsor a kid. You know, a kid with the flies on his face eating a cracker. You can buy him a goat. <laughs> just can't adopt him though. You can't do that. That's going a step too far. You think I'm kidding, man? Really? I mean, try going online. Go ahead, try going online. Google. I want a. I want a six-year-old boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No help at all. No support system. They really need commercials like that. You know, you need to have little little Johnny go out there. It won't be little Leonard because I would adopt those white kids. You see, <laughs> you see little Johnny out there. So, Please help me. I want a family so bad. I need one. I'm a really good chess player. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, throw, gotta throw something in there like that because, you know, it's, it's, it's salesmanship. You gotta learn to sell yourself if you're gonna be an adopted kid. Oh, we do that. We, we, we're going out. We're looking online for, not online. I just said you can't do that. Don't do that. I'm gonna be in jail after I leave here. But, you, know, <laughs> you know, they need one of those like, like, like kid mills. Like a puppy mill, you know, and they do. They have that when you're fostering kids, and you go on their website, and you're looking for them. You go, you go, that kid. Oh, oh, that kid comes with more kids. Don't have that. I got four kids already. <laughs> <laughs> I want, a, I want a single kid all by himself. Yeah, okay. Oh, here's one. Yeah, he's four years old, five foot seven. There, I'm there. <laughs> We're good. I'm wow, going there, and you know, and I'm also prepared in case they're like my kids. You know, what if I run into that same boat? Yeah, I researched that too. 
bag of potatoes is on sale over at Albert's. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's my time. My name's Javier. That's amazing.